Would you like to come out? Oh my goodness. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you don't want to go out. <laughs> meows and meows and meows and meows to get out. Open the door, doesn't get out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to probably my favorite lake on earth, Lake of the Woods. We're out on the ice and you're probably watching this next ice season. It is now the end of the 2020, 2021 ice season. And it's been an incredible year and we're ending it off in style in an ice castle, in this amazing, amazing, massive ice shack. This is rented from my buddy Jaden at Northwest Outfitters. You've seen me do videos with him before. And after I did the first videos with him, business picked up and he bought a second ice castle. By the time you see this video, he is hopefully gonna have a third ice castle, which is just amazing, so good for him. I'm so pumped. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Today we're doing something very unique. <laughs> and we are bringing Judy and Rudy on the ice. And Sam. Oh yeah, and Sam. Cat number two. What do you think? A lot of smells, eh, Rudy? As I mentioned, uh, yeah, you can rent one of these ice castles. This is this is the new one, new as of uh, this past year. By the time this video drops, as I mentioned, Jane will probably have a new one, but uh, it's kind of messy. I did stay in here last night, but um, stayed in here with Brandon. Now we got Sam out. And Judy is, uh, Judy's taking herself on a tour. Yeah, we got to uh, cook some fish last night. This is where I slept. And there's Judy. What do you think, Judy? Good enough for you? We are back, guys. Uh, as you can see, there's two cats underneath there, Rudy and Judy. We will uh, show them some more later in this video, I'm sure, but. All right, so Jaden has us set up uh, on, a, on a mud flat. There's an island behind us, point sticks out. We're on that mud flat at the base of that little stick out. Um, Sam's gonna be using a jigging spoon. I'm gonna be using a small tungsten jig, both tipped with minnows, and March, is prime time for burbot, for eel pout, whatever you want to call them. For what? Burbot. Eel pout? Eel pout, because they look like eels. Eel pout. Anyways, it is about two hours till prime time, but the thing about burbot is they love to feed through the night. So we showed up a little bit later today. We're hopefully gonna catch some walleyes for dinner, but one of the focuses is these bottom feeders. These burbot, they're fish of the night. They're crazy looking things, and they don't get too much love. I think they're pretty cool fish. Um, I've never caught one before. You've never caught one? Never Sam's never caught, caught one. one before. So uh, we're gonna get the camera set up, we're gonna get the live scope rocking, and hopefully you see Sam's first burbot on film. Rudy, this is not your last meal. We need to figure out how you're gonna be sit <sighs> Sam, we didn't even get the camera rolling. I was trying to get it set up. The cats are confused. Look at them. It's so small. Is it I that small? I don't know what it is. Look at the cats. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a decent walleye. It's a perfect eater. <laughs> Show the camera. Look at it. What's that? All right, show me. Instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop to the bottom. That's dinner. Thank you, Sam. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Stop, come towards me. <laughs> Did you hook me? Oh, my foot slipped out and I fell down on the chair. Come towards me. <laughs> I'm coming. Should we show the camera? Yeah. Look at that cat butt. Rudy. Oh. All right, next thing to get set up is a live scope cam, but there's fish all over Samantha. Judy, stop eating my fishing line. <laughs> she was chewing it. No card, and there's fish. Pretty big mark. Sam's gone. Here we go. Here we go. Yes! Ooh, that's decent. We got cats. We got fish. 
We got sand. Give me another decent walleye, I think. Oh yeah. This should be enough for dinner. This is so good. We've barely been fishing at all. We've just been setting up, getting the cats acclimatized to what's going on and we're catching walleyes. Looks like there's fish. Bless you. All right, there's a fish. Bless you. She sounds allergic to cats. <laughs> but they're so cute. There's a fish between us. Who's gonna catch it? Probably me, cause Sam is busy with the cats. Oh, what? something's coming up to you. Oh wow, oh wow. This is a good mark. Yes. No! Yes. That's a good one. That's decent and not as big as I thought. It's kind of feeling perchy right now, but. What does perchy mean? Like it might be a perch. I got him. Oh, 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 oh. What do you think? This one's going back. So this is what I'm using. Very petite, a small tungsten jig, um, just with half a minnow. Sam's using a dinner bell. And this is, this is my favorite, you know, dead stick light jig rod. This is called the Drench. And it is a 39 medium light. So it has backbone for a big fish still, I get asked. Can this still handle big fish? Absolutely. But it's so nice for smaller fish and for just when you're having it sitting on a pail, sitting beside you and you're just like trying to have it as a dead stick and you're trying to just watch that light noodle tip detect the bites. I think the best part of the ice castle is obviously you want the fishing to be good, but even if the fishing isn't good, there's a flat screen TV over there. We can cook, there's board games in there and we've got cats. Fish coming in on the right. Look at this, always chasing. Oh, oh, he hasn't eaten it yet. I'm high sticking, I'm running out of real estate. He's tasting it. Calling in it. Oh! Did not like that the flavor. That was crazy. <laughs> he darted away so He did not so like fast. you. Is that for bed? <laughs> Burba time, we're fishing all night. This is the best time for burbot. This is when they spawn. This is when they come up a little shallower and they just, they get fat. They are like little greasy footballs. I did hear a rumor that they are the poor man's lobster. <laughs> Should we cook one? Do you want to eat one? I wouldn't be against that. I think that we Oh, have... whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, honey. I'll get you to pull the deucer on this yes. one. I'm coming. Just pull it gently because this is a bigger fish. Oh, 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 oh. What do we have here? I'm thinking a walleye. Thinking decent walleye. Really? Yep. But right over there. We got the Sam Cam. Nice walleye. Whoa! Oh, we got him. We got him. What right. did I just say? <laughs> Grab a cat. We're holding it up to the camera. Oh my goodness. That is a nice walleye. All right, guys, look at that. Beautiful walleye. Cats are pumped, I'm pumped. That's a little too big to eat. It's going back. Goodbye, baby. Good. Rudy, what do you think? Meow. <laughs> that was sweet. That was sweet. While bourbon is the main goal, nothing wrong with a bunch of nice walleyes. Do you want the deucer back in? You don't need the deucer. Oh, sadliness. All right. Well, the fish are snapping. It's prime time. Did you hear that though? I said, I'm sorry. I don't want to get a hook in the face. I never heard that. And then two and a half seconds <laughs> later, your hook just shoots up to the sky. I never heard that. Oh man. Self-preservation people. Look after your own face. Sam's face is the money maker of this channel. Absolutely it is. It is prime time folks. What is prime time you might ask? It is like the first hour, last hour of the day when that sun gets low, when that light is just not quite as bright and that is when the fish start, oh boy. When the fish start, oh boy. When they start eating. Oh, oh this is another nice one. <laughs> no, you, you just do your thing. You keep fishing, you keep fishing. I can. I'll try to land it around the deucer. I'm feeling good. A little smaller than the last time. Tiny little jig gets it done. So good. 
Judy and Rudy approved. Going back. Rudy, how are you liking the Ace Castle so far? Blink once for good. Okay, we'll count that as a blink. Meow. Look how he's sitting. I don't even know how that's comfortable. Meow. And this is where Judy's hanging out. Judy, watching for flags, girl? Okay. These are precious. So precious. It's prime time, Rudy. Oh, something. Do you rod? Grab it. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep reeling. Things went absolutely backwards sideways with that. Nice, Walter. That's a decent walleye. I stayed out here last night with Brandon to do some product shoots and we caught some fish, but nothing like this. But yeah, the walleyes are snapping. So good. That was fun, Sam. I was so ashamed. Why? You're ashamed of your hook set? Yeah, because I think naturally I go to reel the other hand. So I picked it up, put it in the other hand, realized the reel was not on that side and then switched it over to my other hand again and then started reeling. That sounds like gold. It was just... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How high do I play with him? <laughs> was that unreal? Wow. I switch over to the <laughs> dinner bell and of course, the tungsten just lights This one's it small, up. this one's small. Sauger. Nice little sauger for the team. Well, we're gonna drop lines back down. And I'm gonna help Sam with dinner. But that's the beauty. Whatever you're doing, you can have lines in. We brought some bells along as well for if we wanna keep rods in through the night, which we may or may not wanna do. I think Sam might get annoyed after the first eight burbot. This is like, this is the stuff I dream about. Like being able to fish around the clock. Well, it is time for Sam's Kitchen. What's on the menu tonight, Sam? Typical. <laughs> You're not gonna guess it. Potatoes. We're gonna fry up some fish. In what? Catch and cook coatings. Do you have any predictions? How Incorporated. Many, how many bags of catch and cook will have been sold by the time this video drops? At least 40? Yeah, by the time you see us, we'll be 10,000 millionaires. <laughs> Hopefully there's some new flavors, some spices. Judy, get off. Get. No one's gonna to wanna to stay in this ice castle now. Welcome to the tailgate of my truck. I'm told, or I guess what I learned when I was guiding was the average human eats about like a walleye and a half on your typical shore lunch. Sam probably eats less, I probably eat more. So two, two walleyes is gonna be lots for us. Yeah, let's do it up. We're gonna take a couple of fish home. Meat. Catch and cook, crunchy fish and game batter. This is first gen. Okay, we're good. What do we got today? Potatoes, fish, beans. Well guys, the walleye bite has slowed down. We are waiting for the burbot bite, which will hopefully start soon. Um, what are we watching right now, Sam? What is this show that you uh, have put me on? Oh man, this is my favorite show in the entire is world. Is it actually your favorite show? Absolutely, yeah. Really? This is called News Radio. I love it. I That's know. it. We're gonna watch some news radio tonight. We're gonna eat some fish and hopefully we're gonna catch some burbot. Rudy, what do you have to say about this? Are we crazy cat people? We are. It's if if someone brought their dog out here, they'd just be a normal dog person. But as soon as you bring your cat out, you're a crazy cat person. I would give my left arm to have a dog. <laughs> and Jay won't let me. So People are going to hate on me in the comments now. We're gone too much to have a dog. If someone wants a dog, sit for us. Jay, we haven't left our home in one year. <laughs> <laughs> this is our dog. Well, it's 8.30. Um, I'm thinking the burber are gonna start rolling in any time now. Anyways, we're gonna convert this into our bed, put some bells on our rods, and hopefully we get some burber. Okay, good night. Oh. Oh. All right, now ready for burber. Well, everyone's tucked in. <laughs> Look at Judy right now. Rudy, Judy. What do you have to say? Would you recommend the Ice Castle? 
Sam, first time sleeping in the ice castle, thoughts? Tough living. This is so good, we had such a great evening. You know, we, we caught a bunch of fish as soon as we got here and uh, we haven't really been focusing too hard on fishing uh, recently, but had a great fish fry, I've been watching some TV. And this is just like, it's like a trip for us, honestly. We haven't been traveling much, you guys probably haven't been traveling much either in the last whatever, year, year and a half, two years. And this is like, yeah, it's like a little getaway. So, been having a lot of fun. Uh, I'm gonna keep my eye like half open on the live scope and hopefully we see some burbot roll in and we'll put some bells on the rods if we do decide to try sleeping. But uh, I'm feeling good. I think we're gonna get some burbot yet and hopefully Sam's first. Try sleeping? I might try sleeping. Are you sleeping? I'm gonna go heck to bed soon. <laughs> Big Mark chasing me. Look at this. Look at this. He missed it. He missed it again. Oh. This Mark is being so weird. And then, uh, okay, yeah. I might catch a bourbon. There's like two or three down there right now. I got him. I got him. Oh, and he's pretty big. Oh boy, I gotta turn the light on. Oh, I just lost him. Oh. No, you didn't. Oh, that hurts. There's another one. Yeah, we got him, Rudy. We got him. What do you think, boy? <laughs> the girls have gone to bed. It's just me and Rudy up. What do you think, boy? That's a fat one. Do you want to see it? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Look how fat he is. Here we go. That's what we stayed up for. Fat. Fat belly right there. The lighting's kind of goofy right now. But look at that. <laughs> He's just curled on himself. That's the crazy thing about burbot. They can just completely curl up on themselves. Anyways, we're putting this guy back. That'll be the first of many, hopefully. Is that cool? Okay, next one's yours, Sam. We are back and we got some bells, which may go on our rods yet. They are annoying if you're still moving around. And... Here we go. We got him, Rudy. We got him. Ooh, this one's a little bigger. The furnace just turned on as I set the hook. You ready to reel it in? You can do it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Sam is in a deep slumber. We've been having to play with these bourbon quite a bit. What do you think, Rudy? Wow. <laughs> what do you think, boy? Think you got a big one? Wow, this fish is definitely fighting harder than any other burbot we've had. I think he's close. Turn this other light on here. Oh, that's a big burbot, Rudy. That is a big burbot. Holy oh, fat. Look at this fish, Rudy. What do you think? Wow. Guys, that is why you fish in the night. Right there, that's what did it. <laughs> I know the lighting's kind of insane right now with the two different lights. That is a big, big eel pout right there. Big burbot, look at that. Look how he just curls his tail. And that belly. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> All right. That's what just caught the big one, as you can see. A little bit of glow. I don't know if you guys can see that glow in there. 
Yeah, look at that. Glowing in the dark. So all I'm doing, taking that jig, half a minnow. Yeah, just kind of bouncing it on the bottom, trying to play it by the fish's mood. And these burbot, at least tonight, are, are seeming to be a little more finicky. They're taking some, a little more finesse. Sometimes they'll chase you a couple feet off the bottom, up and down and up and down. And sometimes they like to eat right off the bottom. And I have heard that glow is really good for burbot. All right, Rudy, what do you think? Should we keep, get, keep catching them? Oh, look who we got here. Did all the commotion wake you up, Judy? Oh, 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 oh. There's another bird. Eat it. This is why I don't know why they chase so long. Maybe he wants the jig and spoon. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on. Here we're gonna just pound it in the mud. There we go. Look at my rod tip. Oh, he just dropped it. Sorry, Rudy, I did not mean to scare you. Wow, did we have to play with that fish. Turn it on. Midnight, 11.55. All right, another bourbon. is the hot time. Burbit. Another good tactic you can do is an iFish Pro or tip up with some meat laying on the bottom, but I don't know, this has been pretty good and I have no urge to go run outside right now for flags. I think it would be pretty busy. That bell's ring. Oh, oh, oh. He's taking a while. Heard the bells ringing. We were awake. No idea what time it is. We're hooked up. Baby bourbon. The little tip is not getting the floors all wet in this thing, so you can just hold them in the hole. Good morning, world. Not a morning person. I'm not a middle of the night burbot person. Okay, bye Judy. Oh, a fish just raced up to kill me. Here Sam, take this. Did you see the fish on the left? Get ready. Judy, not good timing. Oh not good timing, Judy. Oh, the drake's just released. There's another fish down there. He's eating the minnow that fell off. What a life. Breakfast walleyes, Judy. Okay, let me see if I can catch with this rod. Stop your lure? Okay, yeah, that is. Judy, stop it. Oh, there's fish coming, Sam. It's coming fast. Oh, he was so aggressive. Oh, we might be bringing a couple of walleye home. Beautiful sauger. Oh yeah. Hooked up. Wow. Ooh. This is all right. Yep. Judy's in the litter box. Rudy's sitting on the couch. And I'm catching walleye. Life is good. Nice. Oh. This walleye is definitely coming home with us. 
Judy the cat. Judy, what do you think of your first time in the ice castle? Uh, the burbot bite turned on at about midnight. I think I caught three or four or five. I don't even remember. Might have been around five. I couldn't couldn't get Sam. It would have been her first burbot. She just sleep is too precious to her. She was all pumped on catching her first burbot. I wasn't that pumped on catching <laughs> my first burbot. What do we got here, Rudy? Oh, two fish. Oh, he's coming back. Coming back. Nice. On the dinner bell. That guy's gonna come home. There you go. Beautiful. Perfect eater. Lake of the Woods, baby. Northwest Outfitters in the ice castle. We've been, there hasn't been too much of a lull for fish between the burbot and the walleye. Judy. Stop eat. Don't. If I lose a fish, Judy, it's your fault. All right, a little meat on the bottom is key with any jigging spoon. <laughs> oh, she just went for the whole rod. Well, guys, these are the two rods that we used today. This is the 39 light, the drench. This is the 38 medium. This is the true grit. I think this is like probably the perfect burbot rod. Um, nice medium action. You can use for like medium to bigger size jigging spoons, any heavy jigs you want to pound on the bottom. Those are kind of, you know, some key things you want for burbot. For burbot, <clears throat> near the bottom, jigging spoons, jigs. You can catch them on tubes and rattle baits and other lake trout type stuff as well. I think glow is really important. I don't know, maybe it's just a confidence thing for me. But I like having glow jigs, spoons, whatever it might be. And uh, yeah, then tipped with a minnow. Could be a chunk of like Cisco, sucker belly. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Oh no. Oh, this is a little better. Wow. Did you see the rod lifting up there? I'm in this rod too. This might be a decent walleye. I just looked over and I saw the rod like lifting up. Go investigate, boy. Oh, he got tangled in the other one. Wow. Beautiful walleye to end the day with Sam. I apologize to Sam for catching all the fish. That's what happens when you don't sleep. All right, awesome. Well, Rudy, what do you think? Would you do this again? Would you recommend <laughs> the Ice Castle? I think you liked it. Judy's coming back. They took a bit for them to settle in, but they did it. How about you, Sam? It was lovely. Yeah, you had a good time? Mm -hmm. Even though you missed the burbot bite? A little bit of vacation, 15 minutes from home. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Huge shout out, huge shout out to my buddy Jaden once again for hooking us up with the Ice Castle. It's, uh, it's been fun. I did the start of my ice fishing season in this thing and now I'm ending off the season in this as well. So uh, pretty sweet deal. Um, whether you're an advanced angler or just getting into it or want to go ice fishing for the first time ever, I think this is a pretty sweet option. I will link him down below. Uh, as mentioned, he will probably have three next season. So there should be maybe more availability. He seems to book a pretty far in advance, but don't miss your chance. Stay for two nights, three nights, rent it for the whole month. Whatever you want. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Sam, my lovely wife, for joining on another adventure. And oh yeah, and Judy and Rudy, thanks for being troopers, guys. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Rudy. Should we go home? Should we go home? Okay.